We gotta make an intro so we're using this as the intro. Ah, she's coming back together. Okay, so I got a new air cleaner on it. Too bad it sits way, way too high. I gotta probably do something about this right now. That carburetor spacer in between. But what I'm doing today is is uh, I took a measurement from here to here and compared it to the other side from there to there. This one's good. This one's bad. So this one's one I'm kind of working on. So my goal is let me tell you what I did. Also, I made this plate exactly to match this plate. Just Thin gauge sheet steel, tin snipped it out, made it up. But the thing is, is this rad support is just, see everything's janky as hell over here. This is not even bolted down or nothing. So I got my fenders and stuff all lined up. They're supposed to bolt through this hole here. It still needs to come out. So I'm gonna take a measurement and I'm gonna start yanking on this guy. Uh, where to put a pile of shit pile? Uh, there she is. So not my brightest idea, but I got this all wrapped up here. Chained. Here's a come along right here. We got this towed over to my workbench. Um, safety first here. Once you're chaining here, I want to use winch weights. Okay, what a winch weight is, is what if this thing does let go, because I just got a bolt with one thread holding it. Let's say if it does let go, it's going to go flying right back at you, so you want to put another uh, weight here. So let's say if it does snap, it'll fling there and start getting, sh getting shot all the way down there. So ink out winch weights, reach for some jackets. There you go, safe enough. I'm going to start crank, I'm going to take my measurements again from here to here, and there to there. I'm going to start cranking on this guy right here. I'm gonna keep the camera running just in case if I die. It's gonna... Worst case Ontario here boys, the uh, come along looks like it got snagged there so I'm gonna have to pry it out here because right now it's jammed in the fully tension mode. <laughs> That's what happens when you start using old uh, tools that you find in the trunk of used cars. Oh, finally got it off. Measurements on this side is 45 and a half. Forty-five. It's a quarter right there, and I can just pull it back another quarter of an inch. Forty-five and a half. Perfect. So our fender should should bolt right up. Let's uh, test fit them. Okay, grab the dirty fender. So, as we see here, our antenna is going to be shaved. Voila. They could be moved over, but see here, we are all lined up finally. The bolt down here, the sorry, the bumper, I think I might have to extend this out a little bit. I measured it perfectly, but I might have to whirl it out, pull it this way a bit. Bam, with some finessing. This one hammered, hopefully that brightens up with that hammer dolly flat. You can see it wraps around perfectly here. And starting to look like a car again. Okay, I just cut these. These guys actually just came in from online. Some place in Murica land. I just want to see how this shit's all gonna line up. Good. 
motivation to get me working on this thing again. Pop up the grill. So now if you kind of squint the right way, you could kind of see a car coming together. Hood's at my brother's, we're gonna get that taken care of. This fender's got a lot of Bondo and shit in this corner that's gonna get cleaned up. This Bondo, I mean this fender, I've kind of been doing body work, got it all straight. There are some lows. There's a low right here, I'm not sure if you can see it in that light or not. See where that dark spot is, been using guide coat, sanding it. Might make a video on that if you guys are interested, but it's boring, but. Hey, she's looking like a car. Just threw the chrome window trim around because I want to see how this car looks like. Uh, they're supposed to have trim here. That's on my brother's again, so he's going to bring that over one of these days. But almost a car. Hopefully slap some good wheels or just rock some hubs and just treat this thing as a lowrider or something. There's still a lot, lot, lot work to do on this, but I'm actually pretty happy the way this thing's going. Shiny. I've been dicking around with this thing. I can't wait for this bumper to go back on. We gotta build a lower bumper bracket and then those middle bumper brackets I might just have to buy just so I wanna make sure they're all square. Okay, we'll wrap up today's episode right here. Um, I, everything's all gotta come off anyways. I just wanted to see you put it back together, just have motivation to get it going again, so. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>